Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I Am Penge and it's time for some more Planet Zoo Beta and as you can see from the message on the giant sandy ball you're indeed welcome back to the lovely zoo and things have changed around here quite significantly since the end of the previous part and that is because we've had a bit of a technical glitch which is very unfortunate indeed. So I was recording a whole new part, I'd got to the end, I'd added lots of lovely very exciting things, I went to save the audio of that particular video and the audio crashed. So it just went, it was not available, it had gone, the audio software bombed out and the audio was lost. So I had the video from what I did last time out. So as I sort of, uh, as I jibber jabber on right now, I'll put the video in the background, I'll do like a time lapse thing of what I did. But I had a plan, I had a plan that was to create a kind of a valley, sort of a stony rocky valley type experience. So I wanted there to be high walls on either side of the path where the people were going to be walking and then the habitats could be surrounded by these big high walls as well. So it's like walking into a sort of a deserty valley type thing is what I imagine. And that big high walls, maybe there was some water running down, maybe a minor bit of water which we got in place and it was all supposed to be quite enclosed. It's supposed to be quite different to the rest of the park which felt quite open. This was supposed to be sort of relatively kind of closed and stuff like that. Um, so yes, so the video for that was was fine. So we got that actually on camera. So that's what you're seeing now. You're seeing a time lapse of me faffing about trying to make all this stuff work. So I think what we'll do is, rather than watch a whole time lapse of it, we shall just go and have a look around now. So I think it's time for me to welcome you all <laughs> to the, the end result of my faffing about and what would have been the previous video of this series had there not been a bit of a technical problem. So welcome everybody to the Valley of the Blings <laughs> because I wanted to create a valley idea. The, the, look, there you go. You can see, look, high sides. Look, it's like you're walking into a sort of canyon. Um, but then I unlocked various items in the from the scenery thing. So in here, the mechanics have unlocked the India theme, the New World theme and the classic theme. So I had all sorts of new and exciting items to play with. And and I got very giddy. <laughs> I got very giddy indeed and added lots of everything. So uh, it, it's a little bit sort of blingy and full of very expensive things that don't really need to be there, but they are there nonetheless. So yes, welcome to the Valley of the Blings <laughs> because there's just so much expensive stuff. And this is what has been created. Behold, behold this. So in here, over that side, we've got some African buffalo. And over this side, we've got ourselves some sable antelopes. And they are surrounded by these kind of valley wall type things. But I mean, yeah, I think if we zoom in and look here, so uh, there you go. Here is a plinth with a big white stag on it. There, there's no stags in here. This isn't stags territory. There, there's no stags. I just like the look of it. I thought it would look very shiny and exciting. So I put that in and you kind of walk across here and look, there's a lovely kind of watery bit there. It's very nice and it looks that way. And there's some water down there. We'll look over there momentarily. Um, There's a bear, another shiny bear statue that got unlocked with one of the sort of the theme packs. So <laughs> I'll just put that in. And we've got some nice new bench types there, quite nice. We go along here and there's, um, I mean, there, there's an Indian theme elephant and, and a dodo. <laughs> so, you know, that's very important as well. I mean, this is going back into the entrance bit, but I put one of these in as well. So like an Indian temple with some face things and an elephant and some little lights because I wanted to. Because again, it, there were new things. I got very giddy and very excited. So um, there's a kind of peacock statue thing. Here are the the buffalo if we just go in and have a little look at what's going on in there um, and because it's been running for some time because it took a little while to build there have been children born there are baby animals which is brilliant i know we've got a baby tortoise i think we've got two baby tortoises in fact so that's very exciting so yeah this is your new your Muminia, you're little, you're only one and a half years old, you're teeny tiny. It's taken a heck of a long time to build all this stuff and research things as well. Um, I don't know if the research thing is a little bit wonkloids because we're in um, in sort of beta. The research people just stop doing the research for a long time. So I've had to force them to go back and do the research. But um, And we've got a nice water feature just here. So yeah, their, their thing is quite nice. They've got a bit of water up here with an island. And the buffalo just swimming about there. Hello, <laughs> a little swim. You look very good good oh i like those you look very impressive so we've got that i've got a little rock feature as well and we've got stuff here we've got power going to all these places uh some more statues because i saw them and thought they looked nice there's that bear again some plants there's some ivy i mean there's some peacock statues that again <laughs> 
a little bit superfluous, but they're still fun. A fountain, um, you know, a little sort of bit of art there, another elephant thing. And then we come across this bridge. So this bridge has got st sort of art pieces on it. So these are like antler type things. So we go through here, which all looks very lovely. Some more informational pieces. Uh, wander through here. This is where the, um, oh, what's wrong with the screen? Oh, crikey. Oh dear. Oh, maybe we need to, do we need to get someone to repair this? Do we need to call the mechanic to this? We might need to call a mechanic to that. That looks a little bit broken. Perhaps the antelopes have been having a go at the barrier. I don't know. But the antelopes are in there. So they've got quite a nice big space and they didn't need that much stuff, but they've got a very big sort of enclosure, which is quite nice. So a bit of water there, some trees going down into it. They've got a good old natural barrier type thing so they can hide under here. So it's quite nice little flowers on the edge, trees, I see lots of big viewing areas. So they've got a big viewing area down there, big one along there, more superfluous shiny stuff that I wanted to put in. Um, and then this here, I do quite like this. This here, look, rolling through the mountains there of the Valley of the Blings. There's like a waterfall type feature. If I press play, it looks like the water's coming in and rolling down into this bit here. I do like that. So that uses one of the special sort of feature things which makes water appear. So that looks great. I do like that. And I've added some atmospheric mist type stuff. Just, just rolls over the edge. Uh, there's a bear made out of wood and metal and stuff. Uh, and then this is a little staff bit. So behind there is a lot of admin type buildings. And then we go back around this way, the statue of a hippo. There's this superfluous kind of <laughs> ornamental tiger head thing that we don't need. And then down here, there's a giant snake thing that we also don't need, but it does look fantastic. Look at that. It's brilliant. It's so shiny. Hello, snake. Uh, it, it's great. I do like that a lot. It's very, very good. Another little bit of art there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Valley of the Blings. <laughs> Because it, it's a valley full of expensive statuary art pieces that don't really need to be there, but I quite like the fact that they are. <laughs> so that was what you would have seen last time out had the audio not bombed out. But there we go. So uh, yeah, it's taken quite a lot of effort to get that in. And there's a little bit that goes back here because these places are so big, some of the uh, screens and lights and things, because it's all fully lit and everything, need power. So there's a staff path that goes around the back here that then has little power bits. So there's a power generator just there. There is a uh, sort of a keeper hut type thing. And I think if we go this way, just nestled into the rock there, there's another power generator over that way. Now, one thing that I have seen, just before we get on with what I want to do today, there are high amounts of litter. Now, there's plenty of bins around, I think. There's plenty of bins, but I don't think there's that many people to pick up the rubbish. I think do we only have one caretaker possibly? Um, yes, we've got one caretaker, one very exhausted caretaker. So let's maybe hire a few more of those. Let's grab, I don't know, three, three more caretakers to take care of our park so they can clean up the litter and keep it tidy and all that kind of stuff. Because it, I mean, it's relatively big. The Valley of the Blings <laughs> is quite big. It's quite a big place. I mean, look, there's a lot going on. Also, I've used the sort of natural paths I haven't used a stone path because I wanted it to feel like you were walking through this. Oh, look at this. Is dis this is disgraceful. You people. Litter here. There's a bin around here. That's uh, Is there a bin? Uh, yeah, there is. There's a bin over here, look. There's a bin just here next to the benches. Could you not have not thrown your litter on the floor? Whoever did that, you should be ashamed. Um, where was I? Paths. That's it. So, yeah, I've gone for the natural sort of paths, which are just, you know, obviously they are pathed through with these ropes, so they've not got like a specific flooring. And then I've gone through and applied the light rock flooring to this, I believe, and this is the rough rock flooring on the outsides. Um, so, so yes, that is the Valley of the Blings. We've got ourselves some caretakers to come in. I think the inspector is on the way as well, which is unfortunate. Um, a few other little bits and bobs that have changed as well. Uh, the tape here have got a nice viewing window so people can look in over there, which is marvellous. And um, I added an extra staff room, uh, sort of area staff, uh, sort of rest area type thing, where people could go because a little message kept popping up saying, oh, the, the staff are quite tired and there's nowhere for them to go because this only holds so many people. So um, yeah, the staff are getting quite tired. So uh, another one of those was added. And we put in another, what's that? Hang on, is that another? That's a stone. 
<laughs> That's a staff room as well. Okay. <laughs> I've added another staff room inadvertently. Okay, fine. We've got three staff rooms. It's fine. More people can have a rest. We've just got more staff, in fact. That probably worked out absolutely fine. That was inadvertent, but there we go. Never mind. Um, and I put another workshop in just to get some of the uh, mechanic research stuff done as well. And now, one thing I want to do before we start work on what we're going to do today, which is trying to work on our little eating concourse area, um, what I want to do is we need to do something about water purification because where power, power reaches out in a certain area. If we go into facilities and then find ourselves a power thingamajig, if we put that there, it kind of means that power is provided to everything within that circle. And that's fine. So at the minute, everything is powered by a tiny little bit over that side over there. In fact, there is a board over there. What's that? Oh, that's unfortunate. That board isn't powered. Do you know what? We can sort that. We can sort that through the cunning use of paths. Okay, right, hang on. Staff path, get you. Come here, staff path. Branch out this way. See, this can just be a, a whole staff area. It's all fine. So we'll put that there, and then we'll get ourselves... Go to back into facilities. Get ourselves a uh, transformer. Not the robot in disguise, but the other type. And if we rotate that round... It'll snap to there. We can click there. That screen now has power. And that is marvellous. Hurrah. So there we go. <laughs> so this bit round the back of the Valley of the Blings is, is purely administrative. It's fine. And if we ever want to put anything over here, we'll have to hide it maybe behind some other big kind of mountainy wall things. So then what we need to do is we want to put water purification in. Because at the moment, I bet our water quality is a little bit rubbish. Yeah, now see, look, the, the three areas of water we've got, are that they're not good. That's not good. The little areas are fine. So the little river area is fine. The bit around the big sandy ball is fine. But the areas of water where they're going to have a dip, where the animals go, is clearly a bit grotty because there are animals swimming around in it and it's fine and you know, they get dirty. So we need to put some of these in. The only thing is, not entirely sure how these function. So do they reach a bit like the power does? Yes. Okay, so this thing, if I put this in here, this will treat the water over at the, um, at the antelopes. So let's just snap that into place just there. So that can go just there. That will treat that water. Then we want to have something over here. So I think what we'll do is we'll put it next to here. Does that reach? Let's have a look. Um, yeah, more or less. It gets half of it, which I imagine is fine. I imagine as long as it's as long as it's sort of touching that, it's probably fine. Although now I can't rotate the thing round. Uh, hang on a minute. I've clearly pressed the button to make it go into some sort of strange editing mode. Hold the line. Okay, I must have aligned it to some sort of other grid. Maybe it's the world grid or something. I'm not entirely sure how you turn that off right now, but it's fine. As long as that can sit just there. No one's really going to come down here. This is all for the staff. So they're not so bothered about looking down here and seeing some stuff. Uh, and then we need something over here. We need another water treatment thing kind of over here. Or does that one... That one does not, unfortunately, reach all the way over there. So we need another water treatment thing. Now, what I'm thinking is, let's not put it in the sky. Can we put it over here with the rest of our facilities over in the, sort of the staff village? And that will then reach the water supply for the tapirs. I think that should be fine. So if we can sort of just tuck it in over here somewhere, that would be marvellous. The only thing is, it is not aligning to this group of things here. Right, hang on. Come out of this go into here. There must be a way to do this. Right, select group. Then we want to edit that. And then we want to go into facilities, get ourselves a water treatment thingamajigger, and that will fit in quite nicely. Okay, lovely. So let's just slot that in over here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure which way around it needs to go. Um, it doesn't look like it's snapping to the path just there. Do you know what? We'll, we'll just put it there. It's fine. So hopefully that reaches... The water of the tape is... Yes, it does. Uh, most of it, anyway. I imagine as long as it can reach a bit of it, it should be fine. So that should improve the water quality over here. Because if you look at the water, it does look a bit grim now. It was all lovely and crystal clear before. Whereas now, if we take a dip into it, it, it is a little bit murky. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I should have possibly thought about that before. So yeah, it's a little bit grim. Ooh, who are you folks? <gasps> We've got protesty people. Fella Moopy? Yeah, I agree. Fella Moopy. Uh, we haven't got any elephants. We've got no giraffes. We've got no tigers. And we've got no monkeys. So you lot are the worst protesters in the world. Brilliant. Good job. Maybe you guys should just go home. Although you do have a good 
uh, some good hair going on. You've got some good facial fuzz there, my good sir. And also, I like the fact that <laughs> you're in you're in a very hot place. You're in the the Asian grasslands, which is quite warm. You're wearing shorts and sandals, yes, and then you've got a nice long sleeve sort of cardigan on. <laughs> you're not correctly attired for the location you're in, sir. Go home. Okay, I've just moved time on a little bit just to make sure that our janitors actually do their job. And they are. They are straight into the thick of it, cleaning up all the rubbish, which is marvellous. And that's good. So hopefully that will come down a little bit. Our sort of uh, trash levels will come down. Our vet research is complete. Marvellous. Okay, so we will have researched a little bit of stuff about the antelopes. I think... We've already got something about the buffalo, so that's pretty good. And what I've been doing with the vets is, rather than having them research the second tier of these things, which, you know, might be a useful thing. In fact, with the antelopes, we probably do want to do that because it gets them a toy enrichment thing. Um, but I have had them researching some of the um, illnesses. I've had them researching some of these things. What did we get? Um, we got ourselves tetanus. We did quite well with that. Uh, we got some of that one, campylobacteriosis, so that one. And then we kind of got a little bit way through ulcerative stomatitis, and then it got they got moved over onto working on these. So that's fine. So yeah, we could do with doing level two for the animals in the Valley of the Blings, because it does not have the enrichment items in there. So okay, we'll leave you... We'll leave you doing that for now with the antelopes. That's absolutely fine. So you can carry on with that. So when, yeah, these places are very busy. The drink place is particularly busy. The food place was quite busy until a second ago. This was also quite busy. I mean, there's quite a few people there buying lovely things. What we might do is it might be worth duplicating some of these. It might be worth having another one of those just here, maybe. Another one of those there and another one of those there. If they, they're going to be that busy, then yeah, you know, people are waiting in line. That means they're waiting in line. They're not looking around the zoo and using the tip boxes and all that kind of stuff. So maybe it's worth duplicating this kind of thing. Uh, remind me what the shortcut is again. Uh, control and D, of course it is. So yeah, maybe if we can drop these, th can we put one sort of, say, there? That would work. Well, that would get in the way of the entrance to the staff village that I do have planned. Right, hang on. We'll do this one first, because that can fit quite nicely just there. So we'll have another chief beef place, and we'll have another one of you. No, I've just done, done chief beef. We'll have another chief beef place. Hang on, just there. Um, and clear that. And then we'll have another one of you just there. So another information thingamajigger. So that's good. And then, yeah, just here, let's take out that area of path like so get rid of that and then grab this duplicate that and put that that way let's put it facing that way so we've got ourselves two drinks places two food places two information places do we need some extra vendor people now to go into those not entirely sure we've got ourselves six vendors that sounds like it should be okay one two three four five six but yeah but then if one of them goes away they're going to have to shut the shop. So how about we get ourselves another couple of vendors. So we'll have one and two. Enjoy. Let's have three. Let's have three extra vendors. So that's absolutely fine. In terms of money, we're, we're absolutely fine. We, we make quite a bit of money. Obviously, construction-wise, we've spent a little bit on building stuff just now and some little bits and bobs for us started recording. But yeah, for the most part, uh, we're, we're profitable. It's an absolutely fine place to make some money. So it's good. So yeah, now I want to get this sorted. So we wanted to get this done previously, but it just didn't work. Also, that's possibly not supposed to be there. But never mind. We could bring that down like that, couldn't we? Hang on. Let's try and change that path round. So that's got the nice boards on it rather than this sort of stuff. Now, can I work out how to do that? Who knows? <laughs> Let me just go and jab enough buttons and see if I can make it do its thing. I oh, know. Hang on. It's exactly like that. Oh, yes. Oh, that was a beautiful thing. There we go. Right. That was quite easy. So yeah, we want to make this into a nice place to go. Um, another thing, however, that I think we need, in a, relatively urgently, I would have thought, is some toilets. Because we have no toilets at all. There are no toilets in the entire zoo. So, I mean, the staff are... <laughs> they are very, very hardy folk of the staff. I mean, there's plenty of trees, I guess. So what we'll do is we'll build a toilet block. Now, we could... We could do a bit of cheating and use the prefabricated toilety bit just there, because that is a Planet Zoo toilet large. But that is just one of those things there, toilet block, two of those with some of the uh, sort of construction stuff built around it. So I think what we'll do is 
We'll have ourselves some toilet blocks. We'll put them across here and then we'll build stuff around everything. So we're going to theme these and try and theme this area as well. So we're just going to put some nice planters down and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, let's let's go. Let's select that group uh, and then we'll edit the group. Now there might be a better way to do that, to get things into the same group. I, I don't really know how, but this works fine. So if we swivel that round, I think a couple of toilets just there will do the job just fine. And then we'll build around them to make them look less toilety. They're very small. They're very small. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't want to see details, but my goodness me, if you've in claustrophobia, you don't want to go into one of those. My goodness. Right. So now... We've got ourselves all sorts of lovely extra things. So at the end of what would be the last part, as I record this, um, then, um, yeah, we wanted to put planters down. I wanted to put a load of planters down here, but we didn't have any available. But now I think we do. Uh, I don't know exactly where they would be, possibly in props. I do not know. There's so much stuff. The Indian theme gives you so many things. Market barrows and drinks. It's just a load of oranges. They look quite yellow for oranges but you know lots of lovely things and apples and bananas and things but what we're after is planters if we go to here let's just search for it shall we because there's some good search tools there we go look many many planters now all sorts of different things so we've got little window boxes which i do like uh we've got ourselves uh, pedestal type things um new world planter large yeah that's the kind of thing i was thinking that's the kind of thing i was thinking Ooh. Oh, I quite like that one. Oh, I like the shiny one, but then it won't snap together properly at the ends, will it? Um, what's that? That's a bit boring. That's a little bit dull. Yeah, the classic. Oh, that's tiny. We don't want that. How about... Oh, they're quite nice. They're quite nice. Oh, yeah, let's go for that. So let's swivel that round. And then what I'd like is I want people to come in here. I want a way in here and then a way out over here. And everything else can be surrounded. Everything else can have stuff around the edges. So what I'm thinking is, let's get us some planters. Uh, let's tuck them on the inside. And we'll have a little fence going around the outside as well. Now, what I'm hoping is, <laughs> what I'm hoping is, that is, it looks like it's about in line. So yeah, I'm going to have to do some eyeballing of this. So let's have a look. So put a planter like that. That looks nice. So there we go. We've got a planter down. So already the plan is coming to fruition. Also, uh, we want to get rid of these tables because there are far better tables. Come out of that group for a minute. There's far better tables available. We don't want these crummy tables. They're, these are really amateurish now. These are, yeah, they're fine. They're fine for a normal place. But no, we are no normal place. This is the lovely zoo. Also, <laughs> have fun, guys. Oh, hang on. Can we play? Are they going to fall over? If they fall over, I'll be very impressed. Oh, that's disappointing. They just stand up and look annoyed. Uh, no, they don't look too bothered at all. OK, now let's see if I can duplicate this. What are you guys doing? Are you the vendors? Of course, because the staff fall from the sky for some reason. Also, she looks a little bit terrified. I do apologise. So now what I want to do is want a line of these. We want a line of those going down to this corner. Now, I could try and do it so you click it and then try and put it in the same place. I think there is a way that we can do this. So let me just see if I can figure out how to do this. So we put the, the fancy the fancy movement control things on. So let's give that a go. Oh, I've pressed a button. No, right, hang on. That didn't go well at all, did it? We want to move. I don't know what's going on. Right. I'm attempting to move the entire block of stuff. Right. I don't want to do that. No, no, no. Come out of that. <laughs> Just this one planter, please. Just the one planter. Um, yeah, come out of the group. I don't want to edit the group. Can I just edit the one planter? Oh, no. What have I done? Right, there we go. I've worked out how to get another planter next to the other one. So what we need to do is just put a load of planters down here and then a load going along there to say leave a gap here and then fill in that little bit with planters as well. And that'll be quite nice. We'll put something in this corner as well because that'll be a corner. So we'll put something in here to make it look nice to disguise the fact that it's next to some toilets. So we'll cover that up. But now I need to go through and get all these planters done. So, I mean, yeah, it's okay. You can duplicate it fairly easily, but it's a case of trying to get it level with with the other one so you can sort of do like that and then there is a lot of advanced movement controls so if we just click on this we can just see if we go to x 
that there's all sorts of really refining things down so you can move things about in the very minutest of details. But I think that looks okay to me. That looks absolutely fine. So what we'll do is we'll drag, we'll, we'll cre keep creating copies of these more or less like that, although it is moving over a little bit, isn't it? Um, we'll have to adjust that a little bit. We'll have to fiddle about with these using that control we just saw. But yeah, we'll move these all the way down. So they all go along there. And then we'll move them all the way down that end as well. And then we'll put some of the picnic table type things in. And then we'll try and make this bit look a bit pretty. Also, we need to do something with the buildings and the toilets as well, because they are still prefabs and they still look a little bit rubbish. Okay, all the planters are in. So what I want to do now is put some nice flowers in there. So I've been looking at what there is. There's all sorts of different things. We're just going to have a mishmash of things. So in this particular flower bed, let's put in some alpine phthalias because they, they look nice. They're sort of colourful and lovely. So we'll put those there. Now, are there any others? If we heart them, look, we can come back to them. Unheart those ones. Um, azaleas. Yeah, they look pretty. They can go in another one of these. So they can go in, say, there. So the moment it would look like that. That's quite nice. And then let's see if we can find another uh, load of flowers that go along that would fit in sort of flower beds. Are there any such things? Uh, flower bed lines? They're a bit long, flower bed, line. Uh, okay, they're a bit small. Okay, <laughs> fine. It might be just these two. Crowberry bushes, um, that, they look a bit spiky. Maybe not those. Uh, what else is there? Dutchman's breeches. Oh, they sound marvellous. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, hang on, what's that? Fairy fan flowers. <gasps> Oh yes, I don't know what they are, but I want those. So let's have some fairy fans. So there we go, right, so I'm quite happy with those. So we'll just rotate those three along. So we'll have that, so gap, gap, and then you can go on to this one. So we'll have uh, that there, then one, two, and then three, and then one, two, and three. Marvellous, right. And then we'll just go back and grab the others. So we'll sort of duplicate those flowers around the edge and then it will look a little bit better already. Even though there's no tables anymore, it will still look better than it did. There we go. It's got lovely flowers around the outside now. So it looks kind of pretty. So I like that. Let's put some tables back in. So we're not going to go for our rubbishy, boring picnic benches. No, no, we can do better than that because we've unlocked all these exciting things. So we could have some lovely picnic benches like that. We could have Indian benches, which look fabulous. That one there look, looks really nice. I think we're going to go for this. I like that. That to me looks very good indeed. Look at that. You've got three, oh, actually one bigger chair two slightly smaller ones, and then two smaller ones. I think that looks brilliant. I like those. So let's put a few of those in, and I don't want them all perfectly in line, because that's not how it would work. So let's put, say, a few like that. Let's rotate that one round, maybe, so people have put the chairs back in the sort of in the wrong place. Uh, we'll rotate that round so it's a bit like that. So we'll have it sort of like that, maybe one, twist that round a bit, one there, one there, and then we'll have a couple here, so maybe one like that and one there. So hopefully the cues won't be too intrusive on those. Now, can we get some sort of some sort of umbrella type coverings? Uh, what would they be called? Parasol? Um, I don't know. Right, there must be. Yeah, here, look, canopy. Is that what they're called? Canopy. Yes. Okay. So can we now get some sort of canopies in there? Uh, okay, we'll have to drop it down into there. Is that doing its auto stack thing? Um, uh, I'm not entirely sure if it is or not. I don't know. Um, it might be. So I, I'd like to get those in as well. What else have we got? Classic picnic canopy. No, they look a bit naff, don't they? Oh, the Indian ones look magnificent. Oh, could we have that? Could we have those in there? They would look very good. Look at that. That looks great. Hang on. Pink ones. Oh, it's a hot pink. Oh, yes, we're going to have this. Yes, we'll have a, a hot pink canopy, please. Uh, the only thing is I want it to kind of maintain where I put it. I don't want it to sort of move about too much. Because when I do that, it's putting it back onto the top of the table. I don't want it to do that. Uh, right, I wonder if there is a thing that we can do to make it not do that. A line to surface. Oh, no, that's that's <laughs> that's making it go all sorts of weird. Yeah, maybe we, we want to put... Oh, no, hang on. A line to surface... Uh, is now, hang on, do I put it back on? Oh, okay. Position snap. Ah, there, yes. Like that. Yes, absolutely. Oh, that's a, be yes, that is an excellent feature. I like that feature. 
Yep, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, check that out. Now, the only thing is, um, that one I think is a little bit is a little bit wonky. So we'll delete that and we'll put it back in. Oh, oh, that's that's a wonderful thing. This is already infinitely better. This is way better. And then in construction, there was a thing that I saw. Uh, where was it? Right. Let me see if I can find where it was. Now, the thing I'd seen with these, I like these arch things. The only thing is, I'm not entirely sure they're going to work because, I mean, we could put them there and then we could build a bit across the top with these flat arches because we could raise them up and sort of snap them into position. They could snap along and be the roof because, yeah, it's nice. You've already got cover, but it'd be nice to be under a nice sort of arty looking roof. The only thing is, yeah, these they're really they're really quite big. They go very, very high. Also, that's gone all sorts of strange. So, um, yeah, they're, they're very high up. I'm not sure that's going to work. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Let's just maybe put one just there. So, I mean, it looks very good. I do like the way it looks. And then what if we wanted to get that? Yeah, and then snap it to that there. If we can snap it properly, maybe. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Put that into place. That's ever so slightly off centre, and that's not quite right. So what we can do is click that, do the fancy movement thing, and move it into position ever so slightly, like that. Uh, I will get a, a tiny bit left. Left a bit, left a bit. Oh, no, it's too much left. Is that too much left? Now we need to go right the tiniest bit. <laughs> ah, dear me. Right, yeah, see, see, look, those controls are so fine. They're so really, really specific. Do you know what? That looks fine to me. That looks absolutely fine. I've, I'm I'm quite happy with that. Although that side looks really wonkaloids when you look at it now. Oh, hang on. That's because it's lower down as well. That's because that is lower down. Hang on. Can we lower this thing ever so marginally as well? Oh, there. Like that. I'm happy with that. Yes. Tick. Accept this. Yes, please. So then, yeah, can we have that going across the side and then dipping down over that side? The only thing is the toilets are going to be in the way. OK, we might rework that staff path and stuff. We'll have a look. Right. But yeah, if we can get that sort of over the top of our eating area, I, I think that'll look quite good. People are probably looking at it going, it looks terrible. But you know what? I think that looks quite nice. So let me see if I can mimic that going across here somehow. There we go. The last bits are in. And I think that looks pretty good. I am very happy with how that looks. I think it looks, it's an interesting sort of feature to have in place. It looks very, very nice. I guess it's sort of like a, is it giraffe? kind of mottling pattern type thing that giraffes would have on them. I'm not entirely sure, but whatever. It's an interesting sort of thing. I think it looks very, very nice. Um, I had to move the toilets out of the way. I couldn't make it work with the toilets just here because it was just too complicated. I, I just couldn't figure it out. So I've moved the toilets over there, added some more plants in, added a couple more sort of tables and umbrella type canopy things. I do like those. I like the purpleness of them. That's brilliant. Um, so, um, so yeah, I like that. I think it looks interesting. It's an interesting feature. It's better than it just being, you know, some pillars and a boring old flat roof. It's sort of got a nice feel to it. There is some maybe tweaking that I could do that needs to be a little bit lower. And I think these bits over here aren't even connected at all. I'll fiddle about with those off camera. I'll make those all snap together because e even if we don't see that from afar, I will know that they don't fit properly and it'll annoy me. So I'll sort those out. And um, the toilets have moved over here. I had to move the toilets out of the way because they were just interfering with these plans. And um, yeah, they don't look the most, they don't look the most appealing of things do they? <laughs> Nobody's going to want to see those. So we do need to do something with those. Although I guess it depends on which you really need the toilet. If you really, really need to go, then you are going to love to see these, I guess. But um, in terms of you know, the visual aesthetics of them, they're a little bit kind of ugly compared to all the other lovely stuff we've got. Yeah, it's a, they're a little bit of a stick out like a sore thumb type thing. So um, we'll do something with those as well. We'll sort those things out and make them look all pretty and nice. But yeah, so I think I think that looks pretty good. Let's just see. Um, let's just see if it looks lovely with stuff moving on in the early day time. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, no. What's this? <laughs> no, you can't do that. No, what? Uh, what? What? Why are people walking through the... Why are people walking through my lovely, lovely scenery? 
That's not right. You just can't walk through. Go round. Okay, maybe those people had already got a like a path plotted and it they took it through the, the, the scenery or whatever. Everyone seems to now be walking around the edge of the scenery. That's quite good. Where are you gonna go? You're gonna <laughs> You're just gonna walk straight through. You can't walk through that, sir. That is a solid material. And you Yep. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Clearly I have done something here, which I should not have done. There, I've, I've, I've activated something or not switched something on. I've made these non-clippable or something or clippable or whatever. I don't know. But clearly I've done something a little bit wrong there to make that all go a little bit one close. Do you know what? It's fine. It's fine, never mind. Uh, so we still haven't got these things kind of skinned up yet. I want to put something onto these. I want to put like a nice sort of uh, appearance onto these just to stick a nice skin on them, just to make them not look quite so prefabricated. So I think what we'll do is we'll come back next time and we will work on these. I know I've been threatening that for ages, but we will work on those. So we'll get these looking pretty. And what we'll, we'll probably work on, say, this one here, We'll come up with something nice that works and then we'll just apply it to all the other ones. We'll just say, well, it looks good on that one. We can have it on all of the staff buildings and then we'll figure out what's going on on a shop building and we'll apply it to all the different shops. So I think that's what we'll do because then it makes it consistent and nice and pretty. And that'll be this bit sort of all sorted. It'll look really good. We need to kind of block off the visuals of the staff area a little bit. Maybe we'll put an archway or something in there and hide that away a little bit better. And put some trees and stuff around here as well, some little shrubs and things, just to make it look a bit different. But yeah, I think that's that's what we'll do next time. And then in terms of the actual future of the rest of the planet zoo beta. I think there is only, there's less than a week now, I think. And this zoo will be annihilated. This zoo will not exist in the full version, because uh, when the beta ends, all of the save games that you have will not be compatible with the future versions. So what I'm gonna do is, my idea is, oh, we'll just have a play. We'll have a couple of videos where we will just have a little play and we'll just see what we can do. And I've got a couple of ideas in mind. I've, I've got a couple of ideas I'd like to try out. And they're very silly things. But yeah, I just want to have a go at a few things and just see if they're possible. So they won't be serious. You know, we won't be creating any wonderful things like this or doing any in-depth kind of building or anything like that. It'll just be mucking about. But then, yeah, this place will be completely annihilated before the real game comes out anyway. So, um, yeah, it, yeah, we might as well have a little dabble with the things whilst we're here. Just push the game and push the base a little bit let's see what it can cope with so i think yeah we'll do all of that next time out but for now we shall wrap things up hopefully you are still enjoying this if you are then please do leave a like that would be most splendid indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time in the planet zoo beta but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush. <laughs>